Hey, what's up, guys? All right. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the the improvements that you can make pretty quickly on your Shopify store or your e-commerce brand if you are uh, selling products online. All right. So first thing first, let me actually get rid of this thing. Okay. So first thing first, I want to show you two websites side by side. So this website called Flutter Habit, they sell eyelashes. This website selling eyelashes too. All right. Now take a look at the 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 quality of this product page. Okay. And take a look at this product page. Okay, pretty big difference between the view of all the over your overall user experience of these two pages. This website they sell eyelashes, that's what they specialize in. They sell bundles. All their product pages looks like this. Look at their navigation. Look at this navigation. Now, first thing first I want to talk about is the user experience and what are some of the things that you can easily, quickly fix it and just test run ads. And uh, if you're sending traffic from social media, you can actually test that over too. You can actually see right here, pretty good product images talking about exactly what the product looks like, how it's going to look like on your eyes, different shades that they have. Of course, the, they're using models. But the important thing is right here, they're using reviews, they're using the name of the product, features of the product. You can pick the color. You can either purchase it one time or you can get on a subscription where you can get it delivered every 30 days. Add to cart about the product, how to apply it, step one, step two, step three. Shipping and returns. And they have these add-on products, which completes the set. So, for example, if you are buying eyelashes, you can get the adhesive, um, application tools, and the setup. And then they have the product comparison. They have reviews with pictures of the actual people using the product. They'll look good, right? And then they have these blog posts. Now, very, very simple user experience if you are trying to follow and educate the user where the user can just easily follow what's going on on the product page, selling is, it becomes very, very easy. Where you can actually educate the user of like how to apply the product on themselves if the product category is, you know, eyelashes or something that they can apply. If it's an apparel brand, you can talk about like, hey, how to take care of your t-shirts, your jeans, whatever you're selling, right? Then you can talk about, about the product, your shipping and returns, in a proper breakdown in an accordion way where you know everything is not on the same page. If people choose to click on it, yes, they can. And of course, like the complete set is just like uh, the, the adhesive, the luxury application tool, or whatever add-ons you might have for your product page. This, you can still work uh, with this page and sell a, a bunch of units, not a problem. If you are famous on social media, or if you have like a lot of traffic coming in, of course, like traffic tells you if your product page is worth enough or not, right? But if you see right here, there's nothing special going on. The pricing, interest payments, free shipping, or $120 and just add it to the card. Nothing going on here. It's just like you can share or ask a question. It's basically a Shopify theme that these guys are using, right? And a compare button doesn't even work. So... So when it comes to like building products and building good uh, user experience for, you know, for your product pages, these are some of the quick fixes you can do. So I hope you like this video. My name is Daniel. I'm a part of Infobase.io. If you need help scaling your brand online, be sure to click the link in the description below. Schedule a call with me and I would be happy to help you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.